Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Stone Block. So today, got some stuff to do. Uh, in between episodes, I let this all cook up. And uh, did a little bit of mob farming with our new mob farm. So we have this quest to complete. And I uh, didn't really do much else. I guess I did a little bit of uh, resource collection. Oh, there's that. That's the damage. So now we're up to a stack. 136. So now that we have all that. Let's break these two. stuff crack it up some cobblestone to fill that in perfect okay guess the things that were in there despawned all right so today we want to get this smeltery up and running so I need that Drains. Two of those. We need to take this tank and surround it. Perfect. Sadly, it was full of lava, so that kind of sucks, but it's okay. Um, we need a little bit more force. So that we can get the um, the second drain or faucet. Okay, so we think we have everything. Okay, so we have two of these left over. Up there, and now let's build a smeltery. This is useful that we can get snowballs easily. Just gonna ignore that. Put the tank right here. Sorry about the phone call. I have no idea who would be calling me at this time of day. It's not like I have anything big going on that I would need a phone call for. Faucets on the front.
So now we have two hoppers feeding in. Sneezing me. No, that's okay. okay. So now we have a smelter. And some stone. Let's get back up there. Slabs to slap it off. Gonna wanna Oops. There we go. cleaned up. Just need to get some lava into the smelter and it will all good to go. Let's get some quick mob kills while we Later on, if we need more space, we can always expand it out. Let's see, we want to get it off into the creeper. Luckily, this sword has like super fast attack speed. And we can get this away. Another great thing that in the coming episodes we can do is uh, we can upgrade this mob farm quite a bit as we have the drop of evil so having done everything that i've done so far this episode we don't have that much time left but i do know the next couple mods we're gonna have to get into One of the next major mods. Oop. I was clicking again. Um, I mean, there's a couple mods we can get into. We can do this auto sifter, which uh, would be nice, but we don't have ender pearls yet, so we can't really get true automated, true it truly automated, using that yet. Um, the beta line lets us get into uh, this stuff, which lets us get to our dank nulls and stuff, but requires power, which we don't have yet. This is upgrade to the mob farm, which requires ender, ender pearls, so we're going to have to wait on the ender pearls. Essentially wait to get ender pearls from the farm before we can do that. Okay, let's remove those because we're no longer doing that anymore. Okay, what I think though this tab is like a it's going to be useful later it's not something we need right this moment but it'll be useful later so i think we should get started on it because this tab i mean shoving unit is just the iron grate machine block That's just an iron bar and paper, so that's actually pretty easy, but the paper's going to be a little bit of an annoyance. Actually, I think we have, no, this will be easy, but problem is 
what does it want me to click here? Oh, I, I did this multi click. Never mind. Um, the point is, the two big quests we need to get into right now is we need to go down this line to get um, power, because this water wheel is really our first power. And we need to go down this line just because these quests are required to do a lot of advancement. So I think we should get through this mod because it's not really all that fun. Get through this mod in the next couple episodes and then we can move on to some more fun with the, with Tink, uh, actually, you know what? This mod's gonna be really boring, let's not do that. I'm very wishy-washy Jedi. Have a lot of mobs. Not gonna mess with them for now. I guess then we'll start on the other mod we need to start on. The power is immersive engineering. So first thing, coke. Oven. There's the coke bricks, which is sandstone. Does it have to be? I think it's just sandstone. Yeah, and accepts any sandstone. Um, bricks and clay. I think we have clay and glass somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so we need. For the structure, we're going to need 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27. Each of these recipes makes three. 27 divided by three. I'm just gonna start and we're gonna see what happens. So we need some sand. So I'll just take stone. Get into that. Probably no more than seven. Let's put that right there. I think I'm gonna take all this clay and put it in there. And then we have, what was this upgrade we got a while ago? I completely forgot about. Or was that in, problem is I'm playing both Ozone 2 and Ozone 3 right now. I'm doing two on my live streams. So I never know which one is this ozone, which one? it's the other ozone where I had that going on. So guess I'm gonna let that finish smelting up. We're nearing the end of the episode. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do before the end of the episode. I guess we can kill what's mobs are in this farm real quick. That's about it. There's two endermen. <laughs>
That sucks. Okay. Oh. It broke all those blocks. Did I do that? Guess I somehow did that. I don't know how. Okay, so we have an ender pearl now. That's nice. We can finally get our vacuum hopper. So I guess next time will be vacuum hopper probably, and then looking at automating, automating the sifting, and more work on this energy generation. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was pretty good. We got this thing done. Um, yeah, um, please look at subscribe. Sorry, I said that way too fast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this. Obviously, leave comments in the comments about what you would like to see in future episodes, what you disliked, what I did wrong, what I did right. You know, all the usual stuff. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.